Okay, now I'm going to start punching in the pommel and getting it squared and shaped. What I'll do is I'll punch on the face of the pommel on either side but I'll try to make sure and leave the point. I don't want rem to remove too much mass off the face. I want to remove more flakes off of this area. And I squeeze it between my legs so it'll they'll come out in the air. Now see, I've taken a couple punches. So now I'm gonna flip it, pick it up in my leg. Now I'm gonna punch away from me. I normally punch towards me so I can control it better. But I'm gonna punch away and I just want to kind of hook in and grab it and just take little punches. There, and see how it didn't go very far. And so now we can hook back in, pick it up again, like this, and come back off that negative bulb and drive another one. And there so that's starting to narrow up this ridge now we've got quite a bit of length to lose to square it up completely so I can I can pound it pretty hard like that and see how it goes pretty flat I've got this ridge right here now that I can take off there we go and see how that flake went right to the edge you got to be very very careful about not hitting it too hard and getting it to go right to the edge. See these flake, these hits aren't very hard, just enough. Because if you hit them too hard, they will go and roll. See this flake did roll a little bit. Now see how I punched across this face? I'm going to come back and I'm going to go at an angle to try and get that edge like that there we go now this is starting to round over I don't have much so I'm gonna come back from the other side and I'm gonna come it's it's kind of bowed so I'm gonna straighten it out from the middle first there we go see how that went wide and ate out but it didn't come over here too too much I'm gonna come back right here again and that one went right to there that's not bad There we go. That one kind of did a little concave. I'm just taking little short flakes. And see, we don't want to... That's already starting to make it kind of concave here. We only want to take a few flakes off the face of the pommel, kind of. i got to get my pad to work right for me. Just to kind of keep it square. bit right here nothing nothing too terribly much now we'll flip it over and do it again you see it's already starting to be pretty square now the biggest issue we're gonna have is right here but luckily since we have this knot we can just take that knot right off and not have to worry about it, it's already concave. So we'll take advantage of that. We took a big spot right off like that. And now I can come back and punch it back in th this direction, like that. And see now, this is a little wider over here, so we'll take a flake here, like that. There we go. There we go. Now see how they're just kind of rolling out? That's You want that to happen more than you want it to do anything. Now right here, now we can start punching a little better off of here and isolate that ridge a little better. There we go. Now we're gonna punch off this ridge. Ooh, I punched a little too much. It actually took out the edge. It's okay, we still got enough width that we're not worried about it too badly. There we 
we go. We've got that ridge come in. Now we'll come out and do this one. There we go. There, and that's pretty well good for the pommel. It's square and we've got a good ridge for when we come back and do the punch flakes from the edges here. And that's, you know, pretty well the same same kind of holding technique. We'll take and punch off little platforms. And this right here we could do with percussion too. We could get it brought back in better with, you know, just straight percussion. I can't get it right now. I've got a poor hold. But that'll get you kind of the idea of it. And then you come back in and you narrow this up a little bit more, straighten out this ridge, and then you can start punching off this ridge to do that. And then when you come back here, you do your pressure flakes to clean that up.